This is one where hackers are uh, kind of going after other people who are seeking illicit software and providing them with none other than Luma Stealer. It's always Luma Stealer. It's, it's just inevitable. So in what way are people being infected with Luma Stealer this week? Well, now a notorious uh, fin financial hacking group, Fin7, uh, is trying to target people who are using AI-powered Nudify websites. So these promise free trials. And when you upload your photos and try to get the result, it requires you to download something, which is, of course, in fact, just Luma Stealer. So this uses uh, mostly SEO and fake websites to get people excited about the concept of uh, nudifying uh, random people's photos. It doesn't provide any sort of guarantees or privacy or anything. So people who want to do this in a sketchy way and just like, you know, do a search to try to find a website that will do it, generally will find one of these scam websites and become part of the Luma Stealer network. Now, of course, this can uh, load all sorts of bad things on your computer. It's basically another financial gain for these criminals to be able to infect your computer and then sell access to your device to other third parties. So um, avoid these websites, obviously. I think that it goes without saying that you probably shouldn't be on them in the first place. But because they have been such a popular thing for people to search for, it remains a way that a lot of devices are getting compromised and a very clever attack, I have to say, when it comes to optimizing SEO and putting up phishing websites. Now, most of these URLs have been taken down, um, but these websites included things like AINude.ai, which seems a little redundant, EasyNude.website, and Nude-AI.pro. <coughs> the model here was basically that all of these would include some sort of free trial. And I mean, if you're looking at ways that people would get compromised that you wouldn't expect in an organization, like these are the sorts of scams that get all sorts of random people who you wouldn't expect. So uh, this is probably, I think, some of the craziest news of the week is that this is, has become like a very, um, uh, I guess, profitable way of infecting a bunch of devices and then selling access to other hackers who have malicious payloads they want to run, like ransomware gangs or other people with a financial stake in the game. So here you can see what it looks like to download the supposed result of a uh, photo conversion, we'll call it. But when you download this and, and unzip it, instead it will do all sorts of terrible things to your computer, uh, depending on what hackers pay for. So I, I mean, I feel like, again, I don't really need to tell people to stay off these websites, but in particular, if you know anyone who might be vulnerable to this, you might want to discreetly tell them to avoid these uh, sorts of websites uh, because they are increasingly a common attack vector for hackers looking to infect lots of devices.